हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल होप यू आर ऑल प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर यू एग्ज़ाम एज वेरी फ्यू वीक्स आर लेफ्ट फॉर नेट एग्ज़ाम ए आर एस प्रिलिंग एग्ज़ाम एंड एस टी ओ एग्ज़ाम सो किक रीज़न ऑफ एवरी टॉपिक इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मैनी स्टूडेंट दे आर आस्किंग दैट हाउ टू रिवाइज द सिलेबस एंड वट आल आर थिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट वट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स हैज़ टू बी रेड टू पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक सो आई डिसाइडेड दैट डेली वी कैन हैव अ फाइव मिनट डिस्कशन ऑन इच चैप्टर सो इट मे बी हेल्प यू फॉर द क्विक रिविजन एंड वॉट आल आर एस्पेक्ट्स यू नीड टू स्टडी फॉर योर exam that that you can follow okay so coming to uh, your uh, chapter 1 so chapter 1's uh, chapter 1 deal with the systematics systematics in the entomology so where uh, the topic is there like history and development of entomology evolution of insect position of insect uh, in the animal uh, animal world characteristics of phylum arthropoda structural feature of important arthropod groups such as trilobita chelicerata and mandibulata then structure Structural feature of important class of phylum Arthropoda like Arachnida, Crustacea, Chilopoda, Diplopoda, Hexapoda. Then classification of insect up to order level, and then uh, you have to study the habits, habitats, and distinguish feature of different insect order and important family. Okay, so. what all our things can be studied in the history and development of entomology what aspects can be studied in uh, in this area so in history and development of entomology uh, basically uh, in history you have to study the historical milestone like what all are historical milestone you have to study like um, when uh, with, when the first time insect has been reported who has been reported in indian literature or foreign literature uh, what what the earliest uh, earliest record of the insect and uh, who has uh, extensively studied the insect and what all are different branch of insect and who are the renowned person in the history when different society has been developed for particular uh, study of the Uh, entomology so those all his uh, historical point of things are important in the history history of entomology coming to the development of entomology so development in this area you have to study what all are development has been taken place over the course of time in the field of entomology like in the case of taxonomy in the branch of taxonomy like dna barcoding has been the recent advancement where you can sequence species you can identify the insect at species and sub species level um, with very much accuracy by sequencing their gene uh and then morphology in the field of morphology what are are the tools has been tool and techniques has been recent techniques has been developed uh developed so with with which uh, you can uh study um the advanced morphology and then field up and physiology the what all are uh, recent development has been taken place which helps in pest management and likewise the what are development in the field of ipm uh what recent technology has been developed the same with goes with the toxicology 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 like there are several new molecule has been came so which is uh, less poison to the human being a uh, le- uh, harm- less harmful and it can be used in a less quantity and then it is a uh, more effective to the a particular uh, respective insect so those all are development you can you can write in the field up like what all our development has been taken in, in different branch of entomology coming to the evolution of ins- uh, uh, insect so evolutionary here you have to study the evolutionary history of insect like uh, it is a monophyletic origin or polyphyletic origin when it has in which period insect has developed what in which eon which period which era so evolutionary period you have to mention as well 
well as how uh, it has been evolved what uh, who, what are their ancestors the evolutionary history you have to trace like several theory has been given for the evolution of insects so you have to mention those theory like uh, uh, what is the theory and who has given and then what aspects uh, of that it has been mentioned like monophyletic phyletic theory polyphyletic theory like that then position of insect in animal world so here you have to locate the insect like uh, you have to classify the insect like where it has been located in the animal since you have to uh, say in terms of uh, uh, by taking into consideration of animal so you have to uh, start explaining from the kingdom level so kingdom level like kingdom animalia it, uh, it comes under kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda class insecta then then class insecta is divided into 29 in order so those all things you have to mention okay you have to locate its position then coming to the uh, characteristics of uh, phylum arthropoda so phylum arthropoda what are our common characteristics of phylum arthropoda so you can write five six ca uh, characteristics like um, um it is it used to ask in objective also so first and foremost that it is de uh, derived from the greek word arthro and poda so arthro means uh, the jointed and poda means leg so insect uh, the arthropoda having the jointed leg okay so it has been divided into several class like the arachnida crustacea chilopoda diplopoda uh, all, all those things and body is covered with the chitinous exoskeleton body is filled with the hemolymph which is known as the arthropod uh, blood of arthropoda then it has the uh, dorsal heart which having the ostia and and there are several characteristics there like uh, muscles are striated there is no cilia so those all characteristics you have to mention and then coming to the structural feature important arthropod group like trilobita chelicerata and insecta trilobita like uh, it is a uh, even though it is a extinct group but it having uh, the certain important characteristics it's a connecting link between uh, certain two groups okay so those all things you have to mention chelicerata what all are the example what all are important characteristics so you need to remember at least three to four characteristics mandibulata what all are important uh, characteristics of mandibulata and what is the example and what are what all groups it's come under mandibulata so those all things you have to mention is special characteristics okay a structural characteristic especially a structure what all are structural characteristics like chitinous exoskeleton and man mandible is present in mandibulata so like that structural characteristics you have to write and then same with go with the phylum uh, the class of phylum arthropoda like arachnida first of all you write the example you visualize the example then automatically you will be knowing that what all are the characteristics like arachnida example is one mites and scorpion so a scorpion there is the body is divided into two segments the prosoma and ophistosoma and then your mites body is divided into three segments prosoma metasoma ophistosoma and they having the four pair of leg uh, and they have uh, for respiration uh, scorpion having the book lung then mites having the trachea they are predatory in nature as well as they are pest of crop so those all characteristics you can it, it do not have the uh, like antenna and then in uh, coming to the crustacea so five six characteristics which is very important and it used to ask in your objective subjective fill in the blanks in all the exam like crustacea body is covered with the uh, hard carapace and uh, leg is uh, the appendages is divided into uh, biramous appendages it having the claw and then uh, it having the two pair of antenna having the stalked eye they are terrestrial as well as aquatic and uh, you can write the example like crab lobster uh, those are those are things then coming to the chilopoda so chilopoda first you remember the example what is chilopoda example is your centipede so visualize centipede what all our characteristics is there so it is it is a long body it have body is divided into head and thorax head and trunk actually it is called as a trunk the whole thorax and abdomen you cannot distinguish so trunk is divided into uh, different segments 
segment the long multi segmented trunk so its segment having the one pair of leg in chilopoda and first pair of leg having the poisonous claw that is very important feature okay then coming to the, your diplopoda for example what is the example of diplopoda that is a millipede so millipede a uh, millipede again the body is divided into the uh, head and trunk and then each segment having the your yeah, two pair of leg that is the important characteristics okay and they are carnivores uh, uh, sorry uh, they are scavenger basically and then hexapoda hexapoda what are the characteristics of insecta you can write specifically the common characteristics like body is divided into three segment head thorax and abdomen uh, thorax having the uh, your three pair of leg and two pair of wing and uh, the um, reproductive organ it is located into eighth or ninth segment with the some exception and then dorsal aorta is present and the uh, hemolymph is present in the body so all those characteristics you can mention then classification of insect up to order level so here some people used to do mistake they start classifying from the insecta and then 29 order it is telling up to order level so you start classifying from the kingdom okay kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda sub phylum mandibulata and then your class insecta and then class insecta having the uh, sub class exoterigota endoterigota then exoterigota having the 16 order and endoterigota having the 9 order so you can enlist those if you can uh, so what are example special example is there very familiar so that you need to remember coming to the Uh, last topic that is habits, habitats, and distinguish feature of different order and important family. Okay, so habits, habits means what are the habits of insecta? Okay, like uh, it is a polyphagous, monophagous, oligophagous. Uh, these are the habit of insect. And then habit and habitat means where it lives. Okay, so where it lives, like it is a aquatic, terrestrial, aerial. It lives in soil. So those all are the characteristics. Then coming to the distinguished feature of different order. So each order, at least you remember two, three distinguished feature means every order have the some specific characteristic based on which. which it has been divided and the likewise it goes with the family also some important families are there so what distinguish feature of the important family so those things you need to remember and the example is very important so these things can be studied under systematics and several question it used to be asked so these aspects you can cover while uh, revision of uh, the particular chapter thank you today uh, today up to systematics only we will discuss the next day we will discuss the next chapter